Stalker Gamma is by all means a painful mod pack. Based off of the Stalker game series that sees you as an average person trying to survive inside the Chernobyl nuclear zone, you will have to deal with bandits, mutants, and other unworldly phenomena that will kill you in seconds. And Gamma is a big mod pack based off of those games, made for a very, very specific person. And if you like what you hear so far, what if I also told you there's a challenge for this mod set that also makes the game permadeath? Anyways, enter Invictus Mode, where the rules are quite simple. You can only die twice during the entire game, and you also need to beat the entire main story. If you die, your save gets deleted and you have to restart. So it's my big goal today to see how far I can survive in an inhospitable environment. I already know I'm going to die in this series. It's only a question of when. And when that happens, the series will end. So wish me luck on my mortal journey throughout the zone. You know, it's been a while since we've been in the zone, but it feels nice being back. Though the question today is how long we're actually gonna last inside, as we are playing one of the hardest modes in this game. Good old fashioned Invictus, which is an Iron Man mode to where I can only die twice, and we need to beat the story. I will be honest though, we're not gonna be beating the story, but I really do want to see how far things can go. Anyways, we are joined by yours truly, Lime the Loner. We've started off with a PP-19, a Sunrise Stalker suit, a respirator, and a backpack, with little else to our names, other than 5,000 rubles in cash and a little bit of heart. And today, we have started in Rookie Village. Now, usually, I would be starting in Rostock because there's a lot more people to do quest lines, though I do have a very good reason on why I started here rather than up north, but we'll get to that soon. For now, we need to do a couple of things, and the first order of business is to loot around the area and grab as many materials out of this village as possible, as every little cent counts right now. So let's see what we have inside here. We got a deck of cards, some smoke sausages and medicine, a battery pack, a file, a broken radio, lightweight armor plates, sleeping pills, which is actually huge, some more batteries, handgun casings, a few broken pieces of tech, more Kevlar, rope and a detector, and that's gonna be it. Overall, a pretty good haul of technology items that I can sell to the fat guy in the bunker. Now that we've done that, I can finally show you my big plan. And it involves this guy right here, good old fashioned fanatic, one of my best friends. As if you guys didn't know, this is kind of like your tutorial giver, because if you ask him to show you around the zone and show you the ropes, he will follow you and be a ride or die companion for as long as he survives. So yeah, having him early on is going to increase my chances of survival tenfold, right? He's an extra target to shoot at, he will be fighting mutants while I can run away, and more importantly, he has infinite ammo so I don't have to waste my precious 9mm rounds, right? This guy is perfect. Did I mention he gives you ammo on top of everything else? Yeah, no, this guy's great, and he's the only reason why I'm in Rookie right now. So anyways, Fnatic, how are you? Yeah, you know what, buddy? Yeah, I'm ready to learn. Boom. 15 rounds of FMJ, and we get ourselves an easy companion. Now that we have that, it's time for me to pull out my PDA, which is connected to the equivalent of a social media network within the zone. You can read messages, you can do a whole bunch of different stuff, but what I care about right now is getting as much money and reputation from traders as possible. So we are gonna be accepting a whole bunch of quests in order to get money. First of all, we gotta find some special supplies and garbage. Second of all, we gotta kill some mutants. We gotta kill some random bandit in Great Swamps. We have to kill another bandit in Great Swamps, and that is gonna be it. Other than collecting 11 bandit faction patches. Bada boom. Now, if I pull out my PDA and check the map, we have a few tasks to do. One of them being extremely close by. So you know what? After I buy some extra supplies, we can head down and start killing these bandits. But in order for me to feel confident about that, I'm gonna need some healing supplies because I don't even have a single med kit to my name. So I'm gonna buy 15 extra rounds of 9mm, I'm gonna sell off our technology equipment, and I'm gonna buy myself a nice med kit. 45 extra rounds, an extra med kit, we are already doing great. Okay, cool. Now we need to get into the swamps, and I will be real with y'all, the swamps are not the best location to be, 
but there is a very close location that we can slink in and to get some early game combat, which is going to decide the rest of my run. Now I will also say, Fnatic is a bit of a trigger happy guy, so I'm gonna have him ignore combat, because there is a military checkpoint down around there, and if they get a whiff of me, I am a dead man walking. But so long as we follow the outskirts here, and don't, you know, poke the hornet's nest down the road, we should be a-okay. Slowly slinking our way around right into the new zone. And thankfully, there are no bandits, military, or mutants to greet us here. Now, if I go ahead, we are going to come across some bandits, so I'm going to switch over to semi-auto for my gun so I don't waste ammo, and we are going to dispatch them very, very quickly. Hopefully, I don't get a head full of buckshot, and we should be able to kill these two bandits with little to no issues. They don't have good armor. They don't have good weapons. This is as even a fight as we're going to get. Yep, right there. You can shoot, buddy. Let's kill him. That's one down. Not bad, not bad. There's probably gonna be a few more. Yep, right there. Got them all. Oh, man, that was a little bit... That was a little bit dicey. As you see, shot placement is very important in this game. I did take a small little hit of damage, but it's honestly not that bad. And we were able to dunk on three different bandits. Maybe even four. Okay, cool. Is there any other quest for me to do in here? Uh, no. That was both of them. Dang, dude, that was easy. All right, let's loot and let's scoop. Now, sadly, the bandits don't really have too good of supplies, but anything is better than nothing right now. We are going to be taking all of the parts, including the, the decent-ish uh, weapon parts. So this guy had a terrible respirator and some gunpowder. This guy had even more pistol rounds. Alrighty, I was really expecting a little bit more, maybe a shotgun, but alas, we have looted everything. I'm gonna go look around for loose loot because sometimes you can find some medkits and then we are gonna redeem some easy quests. Oh, actually, there's a stash right here. I must have picked it up from a, from a bandit that I killed. Let's go check that out. Now, if you guys don't know, stashes in this game are basically your bread and butter, your loot box, your everything. Because these bad boys can drop anything from just spare parts to late game progression materials. It looks like we've gotten ourselves a doobie and some cleaning solvent. Overall, not bad for just killing, you know, a couple of schmucks. Let's look around for loose items around the area because we can find a med kit. Alrighty, not bad. We got ourselves a whole assortment of random loose parts to maybe use later. Hold on, Fnatic sees something. By the way, that's another benefit of Fnatic. He's kind of like a canary, right? Whenever there's danger around the area, Fnatic just rolls in and gets stuff done. And he's a very good early game, you know, detector of when there's bandits around the area. That's military. Oh man. Hey buddy, you got this, right? Uh, he's got this in the back. Okay, good stuff, fanatic. That guy would have snuck up on me and killed me instantly. Did this guy just, uh, did this guy just request a helicopter? That's fine. We're not going to stick here much longer anyways. Damn, that's actually a really good arm still protected. You know what? I'm taking that. Let's skedaddle before that heli comes in, though. Yeah, nope, we're leaving. And while this level transitions, let me give you a quick little message. If you like what you see so far, consider checking out my Twitch channel as I've been streaming the hell out of this game, and I've gotten to a pretty good stage in the game. The link to the channel is in the comments and description. It'd be cool to see you stop by. Right on back to Rookie Village. Now we are safe, and hopefully Fnatic will come on in very soon. We have 70 plus 30, about 109 mil left, and we did pick up ourselves a pretty lucky drop. As you see, this arm cell protecta is in terrible condition, 
but what really matters is the barrel, right? It has 88% damage and armor penetration, so even if the gun jams every other shot, just the idea that we can pop in a single slug could absolutely decimate a stalker. That's all we need is one good shot, so having a shotgun is pretty nice. It won't be good for mutants, but anything else, we are gonna be slaying. Anyways, let's go turn in our quests. Netting me $5,000, some more beer, and another 7000 just like that with another stash location in garbage. Cool. I'm gonna go sell off some of these broken materials that I don't really have a use for right now. Just like that, giving me 12,000 rubles to spend around. I'm gonna buy a couple more sets of FMJ rounds. Yeah, with all of these, I will feel a whole lot better. The coffees are to remove dizziness when I take Yajalan. The medkits are self-explanatory. And lastly, the morphine is for when I get into a firefight that I don't feel confident in, as having 10% extra ballistic resistance might save my life. So yeah, we're poor again, but with poorness, we have a lot higher chance of survival. Okay, so my big goal right now is to head up north to reach garbage, and once we reach garbage, I want to hit up Rostock, because there are some very easy quests for me to get money from. Along the way, I think I'm gonna go loot the stash in Meadow, I'm gonna kill the bandits in Meadow, I'm gonna loot the stash in Garbage, and then finally move up north. I am also gonna be killing the bandits here, and the mutants there. So let's get a move on, Fnatic, you gotta pay me, and also protect me. Oh, and while I'm at it, I forgot to, like, talk about the most important thing about this game. It's the fact that there are anomalies around the zone, and with these anomalies come very big dangers, right? You don't want to run around all willy-nilly in this game, because if I were to step forward right now, I would get either emulsified, or I would get shocked to death. Both of them, not very good to have in a, you know, survival situation. So yes, you do need to be very cautious about where you're walking. Now I will say, I did hear a little beep from my echo detector, which means there is an artifact nearby that I might be able to yoink. So the louder it gets, the closer I am to the artifact. In which it seems to be about right here. Hey, look at that. That's a jellyfish right there. I don't want to be holding this right now but that is a very, very nice artifact. I'm gonna go put it away inside some container because the longer I hold it, the more cancer I get. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna hold on to it for a little bit because I do not want to go in that trailer right now. The anomalies in this game are random, so it's very easy for, uh, you know, one to really be in your way. Okay, let's navigate out of here. If I start coughing up blood, I know to drop it. Yeah, let's go hit up the truck, uh, warehouse, I guess? because there's usually some bandits that I can easily dunk on and to loot for parts and ammo. Huh, actually, it looks like no one's here. Yeah, 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 usually there would be a group of bandits right here, but it looks like I can loot just fine. Let's start up a campfire, and I will see if I can find anything cool here. Oh, oh, there it is. Hello! <laughs> Where the hell did you come from, buddy? Fanatic, you're supposed to tell me about that kind of stuff. Oh man, it's a good thing you're wearing that backpack because I almost thought this guy, Boryon Ox here, was Fanatic because they were both bald. Holy hell, that's a really good barrel right there. You know what? I'm gonna drop the arm cell protect and I'm gonna use the double barrel. Yeah, drop that. Honestly, the gun is kind of terrible and this one deals a little less damage, but it should be a lot easier to fix up than this thing, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, say hello to my new best friend, the good old fashioned Taz. We'll pop in some slugs and this thing will kick like a mule. All right though, let's make sure there's no one else around here that will blow the back of my head off with a shotgun. Oh, there's a zombie over there. Hey, Fnatic, could you handle this real quick for me, buddy? Come on, buddy, right over there. Fnatic, oh my God, I, you know what? <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. I accidentally had Fnatic at Hold Your Fire because I went through the military area. That's why he didn't warn me about the bandit that was sneaking up behind me. Well, let's not make that mistake in the future because that almost costed me my life. Okay, cool. We got a plastic jar in here, some protein bars, some ibuprofen and an energy drink. Both of those are huge and that's it. Oh, hell yeah. How much ibuprofen are we talking here? There's actually two uses. Damn, that is really good bank for my buck. 
Nice. Okay, next location is gonna be this little place here. Oh, hold on. There's, there's some movement over there. I have no idea if that was a bandit or if it was a friend. That is... Oh, it's freedom. Okay, cool. Usually these guys hang out with bandits, though, so we can't be too confident. Though I think we're good. All right, cool. Oh, hold on. Okay, more, more, more freedom. Awesome. We don't have to worry about them. They're a friendly faction. I will be going right on through now. Don't mind me. Now I'm gonna run in here really quick, break all of these crates for supplies, loot anything off the tables like the vodka and any small amounts of cigarettes, finally reaching the nearby stash and dropping off the jellyfish. I don't have a use for it right now, so I will be just leaving it here. I am gonna be taking all of our weapon parts because I really want to base up in Rostock, which is gonna be up north by two zones here, right? Over here, there's gonna be a whole bunch of traders, a whole bunch of NPCs, and it's gonna be very easy to level up compared to Rookie Village here getting, you know, peanuts for pennies. Right now, I want to go to Meadow. Now there is gonna be like a, probably a mutant nearby, but I'm hoping it should be no problem to fight. So let's make our way over right now. Bup, 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 bup. Welcome to Meadow, everyone. The trip was pretty uneventful, but we do have a whole bunch of homes here that I will be able to ransack before I continue, you know, any further. I mean, look at that. We already have, like, hollow point rounds just chilling inside these benches here. It's very good to do a lot of looting, especially when you're as poor as I. I will let you know if I find anything like, you know, top of the notch or extraordinary, but we're probably just gonna find some random mishmash and junk here. Okay, that's gonna be it. Really, it was all junk aside from the sparkling water we found before. That's actually extremely nice. Now that we have it though, let's go kill the bandits up north first, and also loot a small kitchen right over here for more medical and food supplies. Cool, we made it to the kitchen. Usually there is some small amounts of water and other like canned tomatoes in the back of here. Okay, those are just parts. Usually there's gonna be something here. Yeah, protein bars, vodka, and some baked beans. All of that stuff is things that I don't have to buy in the future. You know what's even better though? Some good old-fashioned murder that I failed at immediately. Oh, this could get bad. Hello? Oh my god! Okay, he's dead. No, he's not. He's not. We're running. We're running. We are so low on health right now. Holy hell, that was bad. Okay, I did not mean to bandage. Hopefully, we can wait around here. Oh man, that was bad. That was really, really, really bad. Hey, buddy, could you help me out? I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go bandage up. God damn it! I don't want to bandage! I wanted to hit my- It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's F1. F1 is what I wanted. I just wasted so many bandages. We'll have to get some more. Oh my god, he's pushing up. Get dunked on. Yeah, get in there, Fnatic, as well. Alright, good stuff. Good stuff. Oh man, that was a little bit bad. Thankfully, this guy had a med kit. Uh, I I'm gonna loot him after. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, right there. Got him. There's another one back there. It's very hard to see him. I think Fnatic has it in the bag. Whew. You got it, buddy. Nice. We got it. We got it. All right. That was some grade A choking on my part. Oh my lord. That was bad. Thankfully, we have one bandage left, but I will need to buy some in the future. We are also pretty low on torso post heals, so I'm going to take some Yajalin and I'm going to slam an energy drink after. Yeah, actually, no, we'll, we'll be fine for now. We'll be all right. We're alive. That's what matters. I'm going to take the pump. I'm going to take the ammo, all the vodka and stuff like that. And we're going to continue on through. Yeah, my problem was I kept on hitting F2 thinking my uh, first aid kit was on F2, but it's actually where my bandages were. 
Can I loot this thing back here? I think I can. Okay. I need to get used to the dang hotkeys again, man. Good barrel, actually. I'll take the ammo. And we can finally move on through to the stash across the way. Also, you know what? I'm going to take the Yajalan. I don't want to risk it. If our torso health goes down by a certain threshold, it will kill me. So yeah, we're going to be dizzy. I am going to take a cold brew coffee and we'll be as good as new. The one thing I want to avoid is getting one shot. And you know, staying topped off on health is really going to help out my survival. Nice one! That's why I keep you around. Okay, cool. Where is this stash gonna be? It's gonna be straight ahead. First of all, we can loot this small little bunkhouse here, and usually there's some, uh, cigarettes and other stuff inside. What do we got? Oh my, that's actually really, really good. The suit utility upgrade kit I can use in the future, and the AKS. Terrible condition on it, but that is a very nice gas system and a free suppressor for the future. Both of those are gonna net a very high price. We also have a couple of crates here with one picture of a loved one. Not bad, not bad. Okay, cool. I think it's off to garbage, and as soon as we reach garbage, I might end the episode. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more fighting as well. Yeah, no, I'm listening right now, and that sounds like gunshots up in the direction I'm looking at right now. So there's probably a good chance that there's a firefight going on at the military checkpoint here. Now, that either means, A, stalkers, or I guess loners, have won the fight, and we're gonna stroll through in garbage, no problem. Or B, it means that bandits have won, and I am gonna have to kill some bozos. Thankfully, we have four medkits, two Yajalan, and sadly, one bandage, so I'm really hoping we don't get shot in, like, an artery and bleed out terribly. The good thing is that we do have medkits to offshoot it for a little bit, so I should be able to make it over towards the shop. Okay, let's do this. I hit him a few times. He's got to be low. I'm going to back up because it'd be very easy for me to get jumped right now. I'm going to take cover behind the tree and let Fnatic take some of the brunt. The good thing about bandits is they don't have grenades, so I won't have to worry about getting flushed out by them. You got it, buddy. Come on. You got it. That's one down. Got another one. Oh man, it's getting real dicey. Push in. Got him, got him. Woo. I, I have no idea how you didn't kill any of them, Fnatic, but I'm glad my, my aim was decent. That's a pretty terrible MP133. I'll take the trigger mech, take the buckshot, and we will loot the others here. What do you got? He has a PPSH, a couple of rounds of ammo, and an extra bandage. Huge. I'm also taking these cloth masks, because if you keep them around, you can use them to repair weapons at like a 14% bonus modifier, which is extremely awesome. Okay, cool. He's dead. I am not sure if I can loot that dude over there. I think I might have gotten him killed in a bad position. No, I can loot him. Just barely. Boom. Nice recoil spring. Also, nice gas mask. I'll be taking all of that. And yeah, we are looking all filled up with loot. And so, it's off to garbage, and as soon as we reach garbage, I think I'm gonna end the episode there. Actually, you know what? I'll end it here. We've done quite a bit today. We've killed, let's see, how many stalkers? We've killed the nine stalkers, we've survived our first session, and we are still alive with two lives to our name. We did have a close call which really just shows that bringing in a good suit of armor for this challenge is a necessity. So yeah, I'm very excited to see where this goes in the future. I have no idea how far I'm going to be able to take it, but, you know, I have good faith that we might be able to get, at the very least, a set of advanced tools and maybe head up to Army Warehouse. We'll see where it goes in the future, though. I will see all of you next time. Peace the hell out.